Hey, what's up everybody and welcome back to another gal tutorial. Today I'm super excited to share with you guys a new update to Replayer's Seamless Transitions. Now Replayer's Transitions are super cool and sleek and fast. I love them. They have really cool spins and zooms and flat pans and some shakes as well as some light leaks. The reason that I love them is they seamlessly connect my different shots and scenes together. And you've probably seen me use a lot of Replayer's Transitions in my tutorials such as that really cool camera intro transition. So what exactly is new with these transitions? Well, before this update, it was just a simple set of project files that you had to import every time you wanted to use them in your existing project. And you had to open it up and resave it to reconnect media. You also had to disable video layer one to even drag and drop the transitions into the timeline. But now it's a plugin that opens up as a panel and you install it once and that's it, it's there. All you do is hover over the transition you want to apply, put the playhead between the two shots and double click to apply it. And it's that simple. It's so much better. Also new is the After Effects version of the Seamless Transition. So it's also a plugin that works the same way, but it has more high quality transitions in it and more transitions. So it has really cool camera shakes and overshoots and pans and whips that are not in the Premiere Pro version and you can alter the speed. So you can change the speed of the transitions, which you cannot do in Premiere Pro. While I was editing this video, Replayer made a new version of the plugin for Premiere Pro. And now you can adjust the speed of the transitions in Premiere as well. How cool is that? Also, what's really cool about both the After Effects and the Premiere Pro plugin is that when you double click to apply the transitions, whatever sequence aspect ratio you're in, it will auto adapt. So if you're in a square sequence, the transitions will work in the square. If you're using landscape, it'll work in the landscape. If you're using vertical, it'll work in the vertical. So this will save you a ton of time. So both of these plugins are on Envato Market for both After Effects and Premiere Pro. I put a link to them in the description box below. And let me quickly show you how they work in Premiere and in After Effects. After you install the plugin, go to Window Extensions Seamless Transitions. The plugin opens up as a panel, and within it, you'll find that each type of transition effect is separated into category folders, and you can search for them using the search field. For quick access, you can also drag your favorite or most used transition into the quick access location so you can use them faster. So how do you apply a transition? Let's say you want to apply a camera overshoot transition between two clips. To apply it, first add the two clips into your composition. Then trim the clips so that the starting clip ends when you want the second clip to begin. Then place the comp playhead between the clips and double click to apply. And you'll see that this transition appears as its own pre-composed composition in an orange label color. You'll also see that there is a marker indicating where the cut should be placed to help you better align it. And then you can play it back to render it out. Up at the top, you'll see that there's some mirroring. If you wanna correct that, you can just scale up the clip slightly until it disappears. And then we can play it back, and this is our final result. And that's it, it's really simple. Now you can use the simple double click method to apply any of the transitions to one composition. For example, you can see here in this comp, I have several video clip layers and several seamless transitions between them. Using these transitions in After Effects, I'm able to create really dynamic openers for my videos, and you can as well. So now let's go over the Premiere Pro seamless transitions. After you install, just open up Premiere Pro, go to Window, Extensions, Seamless Transitions. Let's search for the camera transition. If we want to apply it between these two clips in our timeline, simply move the playhead to the cut point between the two clips. Then double click to apply it and the plugin will auto import all of the transition elements in the timeline, including the sound effects. Then you can render it out to see the final result. 
Also, there's a similar transition available in the After Effects plugin, but it has some really cool added camera UI in the transition. And if you guys have any more questions, be sure to leave a comment below. And yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye. Falling down to you